The NBA has introduced something new this season in 2023-2024. They have introduced the in-season tournament, and Adam Silver has blessed the Boston Celtics with a great division of opponents, and I think the Boston Celtics are going to do tremendous in this in-season tournament. I'm Bruce Velez. Welcome back to Celtics Digest. In this video today, we're going to be tackling the in-season tournament as a whole, looking at a bit of analysis and as a group, and then diving into the Celtics part, looking at the Celtics group, the opponents, their matchups that they're playing, and my predictions for the Celtics following the in-season tournament. So first, let's get it started by looking at the in-season tournament. We got a summary of the in-season tournament right here. So the season tournament will start on November 3rd and will finish on December 9th in Las Vegas. It will start off with group play where all 30 teams will participate and they are broken up by conference. So there'll be 15 teams in the Western Conference playing, 15 teams in the Eastern Conference, not by the same divisions that they're marked up originally. You might see some teams that are in your division in your group, but they are not split up by the actual divisions. They are split up by win-loss record from the previous season. So each year, these tournament uh, groups will change and we'll see some change in them. So I think that's great for Celtics fans as a whole. Each team will play four games in the group play, playing all four of their opponents, which the best team will be moving on to the knockout rounds, which we have here. The knockout rounds will obviously consist of the three teams winning each conference plus a wild card from each conference as well. These teams will then match up in the quarterfinals, which they'll play, which then will lead to the semifinals and then lead to the championship finals. Now, note the championship final. That will be a 83rd game on the NBA slate for the te two teams participating in the championship. Obviously, this isn't that much of a big deal. It's just one extra game, but that is one thing to add in as potential X factor. Now you may ask, obviously the in-season tournament is during the regular season, but when are these games going to be played? So we got that covered here. The in-season tournament games will be scheduled on Tuesdays and Fridays from November 23rd to November 28th, with election day being the one day, November 7th, where there's no games being played. And then obviously if there's a tiebreaker, for the group play, it will come down to the head-to-head -head record, then the point differential, total points scored in the group stage, and everything after that. So the Celtics will be taking on, obviously, their opponents. And now you may ask, what's the incentive to want to succeed in this in-season tournament? And that is the one thing. It's money. The players will be given some amount of prize money handed out to each player from the winning team if they are successfully to win the in-season tournament. There also will be an all-tournament team and a MVP of the tournament as well. So there are a little bit of incentives there. Now, if you're a role player and you want to prove your role on a rotation for a decent team, this is a great time to turn up, pop up during the in-season tournament, show them what you got, boost your minutes in your rotation halfway through the season. If you're a player who's at looking to want to go somewhere else, but not a lot of teams are interested in you, this in-season tournament could boost your trade deadline value up for you as well. And I think those are great things to be adding with the in-season tournament. Obviously, it's not going to be held as some big tournament where the winner is like a champion or anything like that, but I think it adds some great implications to the NBA. Now, looking at the Celtics point, going into how I think the Celtics are going to shape up during this in-season tournament. We have some analysis here covering how I'm going to break down our opponents in our group. So the Boston Celtics are part of Group C in the Eastern Conference, which is shaping up to be a decent group for the Boston Celtics. If we look right here, you can see for our group draw results that we landed with the Brooklyn Nets, the Toronto Raptors, the Chicago Bulls, and the Orlando Magic. So if you do know, the Nets and the Raptors are both Atlantic Division rivals of the Boston Celtics, but the Chicago Bulls are from the Central Division, and the Magic are from the Southeast Division. So there is some variety in the group. Now, some of these teams do give the Celtics problems and have given the Celtics problems in the past, but some of these teams also have been looking to reshape and retool throughout the offseason. So I don't really know if the Celtics are going to run into as many problems as some fans might think when they come across this in-season tournament. So now that we know our group, obviously, and who we're playing in these group play games, now let's look at the schedule of these games and breaking down how I think the Celtics will do throughout the tournament. So the Celtics will start off their group 
play facing against the Brooklyn Nets on Friday, November 10th at home. And there are two home games and two road games for this in-season tournament to make it fair play for everyone. And obviously, we start ours versus the Nets. And I think we're going to start that off with a nice W with the Boston Celtics. I know that the Brooklyn Nets had a decent team last year. Mikhail Bridges, Cam Johnson, Nick Claxton, they're growing pieces for this Brooklyn Nets team. But they obviously had KD and Kyrie Irving last year, which helped their win record. I don't know if they're going to be a playoff team this year in the Eastern Conference. I have them falling near the play-in, and I think the star-studded Celtics team with their new additions of Kristaps Porzingis, I think they're going to dominate against the Brooklyn Nets in this first in-season tournament game. I got the Celtics taking this one versus the Nets. Next, Friday, Friday after that, we're going to Toronto on November 17th, and Toronto Raptors do give the Celtics some problems recently. They have some great wings that have a lot of length and size ability to lock up the Celtics. They have OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam. They have their new defensive center, Jacopoto, which they just re-signed. And even though the Celtics are very talented at the wing, the Raptors do give us problems defensively at that position. And if the Jays can't get hot during those moments, it's going to be tough for the Boston Celtics. So I personally think that the Celtics are going to lose that game in Toronto and we will be 1-1 one one following the first two games. Our point guard room got a little bit weaker, even though Toronto's did as well by losing Fred Van Fleet. I just think that the Celtics are going to be a little weak in Toronto. Then the next Friday, the 24th at 2.30, a nice afternoon game on a Friday on NBA TV. I'm super excited to watch that. The Celtics will be taking on the Orlando Magic and even though the Orlando Magic have given us problems, they have a nice, young, fresh core of Paolo Bancaro, Franz Wagner, Wendell Carter Jr. They just drafted Anthony Black. I think the Celtics are just going to have too much star power coming into Orlando on a nice afternoon. They're going to want to get this victory after losing to Toronto in the previous in-season tournament game. And I think they're going to win this one in Orlando in commanding fashion. And then following that will be the next Tuesday on the 28th. They will be playing the Chicago Bulls at home in their final in-season tournament group play game, and I have them beating the Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls are a little weird with me. They have DeRozan, they have Levine, they have Vucevic, they have these stars, but they also have a lot of injury concerns with Lonzo Ball, we already know, and they're just not fully there as a team, and I think the Celtics are a more of a complete team come November 28th than the Chicago Bulls are, so I'm going to be taking the Boston Celtics in that one. So if you followed, you would see that I had the Boston Celtics finishing the in-season tournament with a record of 3-1. and one. That is for sure going to get us out of the group play stage. I don't believe any team will go 4-0 in our group. I think the Celtics will finish the best, which will move them on to the knockout stages, and hopefully they'll have a successful tournament run in that as well. I know it's no championship run that we're going to be expecting, but a nice in-season tournament run throughout the boring regular season, if you want to say it, will be nice and exciting for Celtics fans to be rooting for their team. So let me know what you guys think of the in-season tournament in the comment sections below. Are you guys a fan of the Celtics group and who we're going up against? I know I am, and I'm super excited to see this implemented into the NBA and how it goes for the NBA this season. If you're new here, make sure to hit that so like button and hit subscribe. We are here on Celtics Digest covering all Celtics content throughout the offseason and with the regular season. I'm Bruce Velez. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.